absolute worst after I came all the way to Hawaii too. <laughs> and with nowhere to go, I either sleep out here or die. Yo, something the matter? You drop your passport or something? Huh? Um, no, actually, I've got my passport on me. But, but my phone, it, on the other hand, it's busted. The darn screen won't even turn on. And every bit of info I needed for my trip was on my phone. So now I have no clue where to find my hotel. At this rate, they might even cancel my reservation. I guess I just might die out here. That's a little extreme, dude. Uh, I just don't know what to do. Want some help? Probably beats trying to find it on your own. Y you're gonna help me? Oh, thank you so much. You have no idea how stressed I was. In a foreign country with no one I could talk to? Must have been rough. What's the hotel you're looking for called, anyway? I think it was... Beachside Hotel? Have you heard of it? Oh, sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. But I don't know the lay of the land all that well, either. Why don't we ask around? Someone's bound to know something. <laughs> I'm so sorry to have you go through all of this, even though we literally just met. Uh, seriously, thank you. Excuse me, have you heard of a place called Beachside Hotel? Beachside, was it? Sorry, I'm not too familiar with that one. Oh, no dice, huh? Hey, chin up. We're just getting started. Let's hit up another spot. Hey there, pardon me. Have you heard of some place called Beachside Hotel? Hmm, Beachside Hotel. Never heard of it. Ugh, oh, man. I think it'd be so hard to find someone in the know. What? Is this some kind of ghost hotel or what? No way! It, it's gotta exist! I made a reservation online and everything! Hey, buddy, you'll be alright. Need for the waterworks. I'm sure we'll find a lead. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thank you. We've just met, and you've been nothing but kind to me. I'm just... Uh... <laughs> You're sure quick to tear up. Oh, right. Uh, I never got your name, did I? I'm so why. Name's Casca. Anyway, let's just keep asking around. It's way too early to give up now, man. Uh... All right, kasuga san are you two from Japan? <laughs> Aloha! Welcome to Hawaii! Here, a little gift from me to you. Oh! Um, thank you very much! And one for you too. Oh no, I ran out of lei! All good. I appreciate the thought though. Take this flower then. It might be small, but the sentiment's just as grand. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure is. Thanks. Um, um, miss? You're from around here, right? Would you happen to know where the Beachside Hotel is? We're not quite sure how to get there. Hmm, Beachside Hotel, right? I don't think that's anywhere near here. Oh, all right. Thank you for your time. Oh, now, now, if you're looking for the Seaside Hotel, then it's just a short walk down this road and to the right. Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, that might be it! I might be staying at the Seaside Hotel! Say what? You gotta be kidding. I'm so sorry, Kazuga-san. The names were so similar, I ended up giving you the wrong one. Explains why we were having such a hard time. Well, anyway, glad you found your hotel. I really ought to thank you too, miss. We wouldn't have gotten anywhere without you. <laughs> Happy to be of help. 
Oh, right. Just remembered. Um, the lay is free of charge, but I do have a favor to ask. I'm on a hula dance group, you see, which is hard on a student's budget. I need some money for costume and dance studio rentals. <laughs> if you'd like, could you maybe make a small donation to my dance funds? Oh yes, of course! I'd be sleeping on the streets if it weren't for you. This donation is just a token of my gratitude. This much? You sure? Thank you. It's not really a fair exchange, but I can guide you to the hotel myself. <laughs> Would that be okay? Yeah, no problem. It's not that far. Come on, let's get going. Uh, all right. I guess I'm heading out now, Kazuya-san. Thank you so much. Right on. Take care, man. No.
<laughs> huh? No. <laughs> Yo Go.
Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
What's up? Huh? Okay. Hey. Ha. <laughs> Yes.
था
어? this guy he's way too strong so you're the ones behind the donation scams just let her go already hasn't she made enough money for you assholes huh if I catch you guys duping people again I'm gonna beat this lesson into your heads until it sticks got it G got it we won't ever run another scam again ever you okay Kiana yeah. Thank you for saving me. If you're gonna thank someone, thank him. He's the one who put his neck on the line trying to save you. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Sawai. I never imagined you'd get roughed up for my sake. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe, Kiana. And I'm so sorry for lying to you this whole time. The donation thing was a ruse. Huh? When I was younger, my parents up and disappeared one day, leaving me with all their debt. I was at a complete loss until those people showed up. They told me there was a way to help people and make money at the same time. So I jumped at the opportunity. But I was an idiot. The whole job was a scam, and I was just fooling tourists into donating. <laughs> By then, it was too late to back out. I spent day after day asking for fake donations, and my earnings were only enough to pay back the interest. 
At first it pricked my conscience, yeah, but eventually I became numb to the guilt. It felt like nothing could spark joy in my life anymore. Because of them, I tricked so many people, including you. Mm. But of all those people, one of them showed someone as awful as me. Kindness. Every time that person came to visit me, he only had nice things to say. He even gave me an umbrella one rainy day, leaving him running around soaking wet. I'm talking about you, Mr. Sawai. Kiana! I'm a horrible person, and I honestly don't deserve your sympathy. But it's been such a long time since anyone's treated me that way. You made me really happy. And yet, at the same time, it, it killed me. It did? I couldn't bear the fact that I was cheating such a kind soul, but I kept at it anyway. Even though you knew I've been lying this whole time, you were always smiling at me. And every single one of your smiles gutted me like a knife. I wanted to smile back at you, but I, I, I couldn't bring myself to. The guilt was too much. It felt like it was crushing me. I just didn't want to hurt you or hurt myself anymore. So, I ran. But in the end, you wound up in danger all because of me. I am so sorry. Oh. Please don't cry, Kiana. It pains me to see your tears. Besides, you haven't hurt me at all. Truth be told, I'm actually grateful for what you've done. Huh? What do you mean? I've done such awful things, both to you and other people. Maybe you were only kind to me so that you could scam me, but you showed me kindness nonetheless. My old workplace back in Japan wasn't the greatest. I was mocked and ridiculed. Nobody had anything nice to say. Every single day, I couldn't help but think that there was no reason for someone as useless as me to live. I just couldn't take it anymore, so I ran away to Hawaii. But then, you and Kasuga-san came into my life. You helped me when I was having trouble finding my hotel. There are kind people out in this world. Sure, it didn't seem like much, but neither of you probably even realized that you saved me then. So why? Scamming people was wrong, of course. But even then, I was happy you were so nice to me. So thank you, Kiana. Please don't be too hard on yourself. I only hope to see that lovely smile of yours again. Mr. Sawai... Thank you for everything, Kasuga-san. Truly, thank you so much. Don't mention it. So, what are you two gonna do now? I've been thinking, and maybe it's best I atone for my crimes. I want to be able to face Mr. Sawai, guilt-free, with my head held high. I get that. And once I'm in the clear, I'll work hard to pay off all my debt, so I can live a better life. <laughs> you mean the two of us will, right? <laughs> right. Oh, come on! The honeymoon phase already? Give me a break. I'm sorry about that, but I am serious about Kiana. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I want to work with her, help her pay off the debt. As long as we're together, it doesn't matter how simple our lives will be. I just want to stay at her side. <laughs> sure, we might be moving really fast, but I mean every word. Is that so strange? I think you're fine. I'm not going to tell you how to live your love life. Heck, I'll be rooting for you, too. I can't believe you looked like death when we first met. You're so full of life right now, man. You finally found a reason to live. And Kiana's not the only one with a beautiful smile. Yours is pretty great, too. 
First in smiles, Ichiban Confections. <laughs> Ever heard of that little slogan? Uh, <laughs> nope. Can't say that I have. Well, anyway, you've been a big help, Kasuga-san. Here, take this. Uh, I really can't thank you enough. Do take care. Thanks. You too. Good luck, man. Hmm? Oh dear. This is quite the conundrum. Is something the matter, ma'am? Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, why thank you. I've been looking for this hotel, actually. I believe it's called Beachside. Do you mean Seaside Hotel, by chance? That place is very special to us. We could take you there ourselves. Oh, right. That's the place. Thank you very much. What a sweet couple you are. Real nice folk, those two. Sure, they came from different corners of the world, but they both wanted the same thing. Guess a little kindness goes a long way. I hope you guys keep on keeping on. 